fucked up, it was all a dream Related to killers and dope fiends Cousin was moving at 14 White things but no porcelain How could they sleep on this poor thing? What I foreseen was a short thing Laker Nation, welcome into the Lakers Report. I am your host, Jimmy Crowther, and that intro song was from our guy, Uno Hype. You can check out his new single, Untitled, on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, wherever you get your music, go check out Uno Hype. That is a friend of the Lakers Report on Chat Sports. You're not going to want to miss all the music that he's going to have coming out. And another thing you're not going to want to miss before I get into these rumors is every single video we're going to be putting out this season. And the only way to guarantee that you're not going to miss a video is by hitting that subscribe button and helping this channel get to 10,000 subscribers. We're growing like crazy and the Lakers are off to a hot start. And if you want to help this channel get off to a hotter start and grow even more, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video here on the Lakers report. Now let's get straight into some juicy trade rumors that I got for our LA Lakers. Starting out with Laurie Markinen of the Chicago Bulls. Could he be headed to Los Angeles? Well, let's pump the brakes just a little bit. But Andrew Miller, he is a fan sided and he's actually a part of Bulls fan sided. So this isn't just some Laker fan saying, hey, I want Markinen. This is a guy from Chicago writing about a possible trade to the Lakers for Laurie Markinen. He's suggesting that this could happen. Now, he is having a down year. He got off to a really hot start in his first two seasons. He was hurt most of last year, but he had a great comeback in the second half of that season. So far this year with the Bulls, Markinen's averaging 14.1 points per game. Now, here's the thing with this trade rumor. It's not really a rumor because there's no sign of Markin and wanting out of Chicago. However, it was pitched by this Bulls fan, Andrew Miller. Now, here are his stats from this season so far. I mentioned it's a down year. 14.1 points per game, 7.7 rebounds, 1.7 assists, and 26.8% from three. That's not what you expect out of marketing. He has been a sharpshooter. That's why he was drafted. And shooting less than 30% is not good for marketing because that is what he's supposed to do. Now, Andrew Miller of Fansided, this is the trade that he cooked up for the Lakers and the Bulls. The Bulls get some help with Kyle Kuzma. Yes, you got to give up something good to get something good. In this case, the Lakers are giving up Kuzma, Contavious Caldwell Pope, and Taylor Horton Tucker. Now, we all know the deal with Contavious Caldwell Pope's stupid contract. It's going to be really hard, if not impossible, to trade this year. But we're including him anyway. We're going to throw that out the window here for this rumor. Meanwhile, Lori Markinen, Tomas Sadoransky, and Luke Cornett all go to Los Angeles. Markinen's great. Sadoransky is really, really good. And Cornett is just a big body down low. I don't know if I'd say he's really good. But he is an extra body to throw in. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about Tomas Sadoransky because... He's a good point guard. He's averaging 8.1 points per game, 4.6 assists, and 3.1 boards to go along with 44% from three. That's incredible. That's not just a throw-in player. That's a sharpshooter, a point guard that can pass and make plays and rebound pretty well. So let's say the Lakers, by some stroke of luck, stroke of genius, pull this off. Here's their starting five. You put Tomas Sadoransky in the starting five right away. I don't care. He's your new starting point guard. Danny Green is at the two. That is a sharp shooting backcourt right there. Not going to miss a lot of threes. LeBron James, of course, in at the forward position. And then you go Laurie Markin at the four and Anthony Davis at the five. I don't care if AD doesn't want to play the five. If it's next to Laurie Markin, you put him at the center position because this lineup right here is built not just for now, but this is built to win for the next three to four years. Even longer when you have Markin and Anthony Davis there. I'm a big fan of this deal for the Lakers. Now for the Bulls, however, I don't think this makes a lot of sense. I think the Bulls would say no in this scenario. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Here's how you can do it. Who says no to the deal? Type B for the Bulls. Type L for the Lakers. Again, I'm typing B for the Bulls. I just don't think guys like Kyle Kuzma move the needle enough to get a superstar eventually. He's not a superstar yet, but I do think Mark Markin will be a superstar eventually in this league. And I don't think Kuzma can really bring that talent back to Los Angeles. So now let's take a quick break. I'm going to talk about our ad sponsors at Fanatics. They're hooking up all of our Laker fans with this incredible deal on this LeBron James hoodie for just 48 bucks. When you use our custom URL, chatsports.com slash Lakers3. That's chatsports.com slash Lakers and the number three. Use that link and you'll get 40% off this LeBron James hoodie. You get it for just 48 bucks. 
bucks. Now, along with that, we did all the hard work for you. We found all these amazing deals. You can check out hundreds of Lakers shirts, hats, hoodies, warmups, sweatpants, jerseys, whatever it may be for up to 40% off when you use this link, chatsports.com slash Lakers. So if you want the LeBron hoodie, chatsports.com slash Lakers3. If you want a bunch of other great deals that we found for you, chatsports.com slash Lakers. Let's get into another trade rumor here. Dennis Schroeder of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, I know Hannah already talked about it earlier on this channel that he would be a prime pickup for the Lakers, but there's even more rumors going around that this could actually happen for the Lakers. There were some ideas of who they could trade for. This was one that was thrown out. Now, Schroeder's making $15.5 million both this season and next season, but he's an incredible presence off the bench for the Thunder. They have guys like SGA and CP3. Schroeder's been a great help off the bench for them. And he's really improved as a mid-range scorer. You know, he used to only be able to get to the bucket. Now he's a great mid-range shooter and a decent three-point shooter. I wouldn't say good quite yet. Here's his stats so far for the Thunder. 13 and a half points per game, four and a half boards and 4.2 assists. He kind of does it all as a point guard. He can rebound a little, assist a little. He can score the basketball. And then the three point percentage, there it is, 26.4. It's not good. You don't want him shooting threes, but he can make an open one if you absolutely need him to. Now, here is the proposed trade again from fan sided. Dennis Schroeder goes to the Lakers in exchange for, wait for it, Yes, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Jared Dudley, and Taylor Horton Tucker. Now, why did the Thunder do this? Well, they get some money off their books for next season with Dennis Schroeder. They get some young talent with Taylor Horton Tucker. And then Dudley and KCP, you know, just do whatever you want with those guys. So, again, this makes more sense for the Lakers than it does the Thunder. But it's still a pretty good deal overall if you're just trying to get that money off your books if you're the Thunder. Now, for the Lakers, here's what their uh, starting five would look like if they did acquire Schroeder. Dennis and then Danny Green, that's your <laughs> two Ds in the backcourt, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and JaVale McGee. So, again, I like this lineup a lot. You get a great pick-and-roll point guard in Dennis Schroeder, a guy who can score the basketball. With great shooters like Danny Green in that starting five, it makes sense that you don't have a great shooting point guard. But look, more offensive weapons can never hurt a team. That's exactly what Dennis Schroeder does for this Los Angeles Lakers team. Now, I don't think the Thunder say yes in this situation. I think you got to offer a little bit more. So if you're playing GM, so you get the reins, you get to decide what to do, what would you offer for Dennis Schroeder? Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe it's this exact trade. Maybe you're offering a little bit more, a little bit more incentive for the Thunder. Let me know what your best trade package is for Dennis Schroeder. I was getting to one more piece of newsy type rumors here for the Los Angeles Lakers, and this one is about Aaron Baines. According to Sean Sharania of The Athletic, he was almost a Laker this offseason. They were pursuing him really, really hard, but the Suns snatched him up from the Boston Celtics. And in all honesty, Aaron Baines has been an incredible surprise for the Suns since DeAndre Ayton got suspended. I know the Aaron Baines fan club is just going crazy on Twitter with the year he is having right now. Look, the thing about Baines is that he's an incredible stretch five. You know he's going to make a three-pointer, but he's also a big body down low that can kind of bang in the low post. I've loved Baines for a long time, and now he's kind of showing us why he's an underrated pickup for this Phoenix Suns team. Now, the Lakers already have four centers on the roster right now. JaVale McGee, Dwight Howard, DeMarcus Cousins, and technically Anthony Davis. I kind of put him in here. I know he's more of a power forward. And Cousins is hurt. Now, here's the deal. The Suns wanted Baines. But once he went to the Suns, or excuse me, the Lakers wanted Baines, but once he went to the Suns, they had to settle for DeMarcus Cousins, who then got hurt, and then they had to go get Dwight Howard, and it was all just a mess for the Lakers. Now this year, I said he's been really good for the Suns, 14 and a half points per game, 5.6 rebounds, 3.1 assists, and 44.2% from three. That's not a typo, folks. That is a six foot 10 center shooting 44%. From three. Now, I said it was kind of a mess for the Lakers, but in all reality, they still got Dwight Howard, who was an incredible pickup. He's really turning back the clock. I've loved what I've seen from Dwight Howard so far this season. But when you put the numbers side by side, Baines does a lot of things better than Dwight does. Baines, 14 and a half points per game compared to Dwight's seven points per game. Rebounding, Dwight Howard's got the edge there, no doubt about that. Baines is a better passing big man, even though I know that's not really what you care about a lot with their big man, unless you're Nikola Jokic, of course. And then three-point percentage, Dwight Howard does not shoot the three ball, so Baines has got him there. Block shots per game, Dwight Howard is way better. And overall field goal percentage, Dwight Howard shooting 76% from the field is kind of hard to match. So really for the Lakers, 
you still got something really great in Dwight Howard, but you could have had a little different aspect as a starting center with Aaron Baines, a guy who stretches the floor, as opposed to Dwight Howard, who's athletic, catches lobs, defends the rim a little bit better. But let's play make-believe. Let's go off into a magic land where things might have happened. And here's what the Lakers could have had this year. You get Avery Bradley and Danny Green still in the backcourt. But then it's LeBron, AD, and Aaron Baines. And the thing I like about this lineup is you've got a bunch of guys who can make a three. And Baines probably being the second best one on this lineup behind Danny Green, which is insane coming from a center. So, yes, it would have been fun. But no, it did not happen. And the Lakers still got a really good player in Dwight Howard to be their, their, really their starting center. But I know he's a backup, but he should start. But whatever, we'll get into that another day. But which center would you rather have this year? So not for the future, but this year alone. Type DH for Dwight Howard. Type AB for Aaron Baines. I'm kind of on the fence because they do, they do such different things. But Baines has been really good for Phoenix, so I, I got to go Aaron Baines here. I'm sorry, Laker fans. I got to go with the guy that slipped through their fingers. Now, before I get out of here, I got to remind you about our partners at Fanatics that are hooking up all the Laker fans with all the sweetest deals this NBA season. Thanks to us, chatsports.com slash Lakers3. That's how you're going to get this LeBron James hoodie for 48 bucks. That's 40% off the original price. Hey, Christmas is coming up. You need a gift? Chatsports.com slash Lakers3. You give your best friend, you give you know significant other a Le- LeBron James hoodie for just 48 bucks, whatever it may be. And then you don't like the LeBron James hoodie, that's fine. You go to chatsports.com slash Lakers. We're going to give you hundreds of other deals on Lakers t-shirts, jerseys, hoodies, sweatpants. It's getting cold out there, folks. Go get you some Lakers gear to keep you warm at chatsports.com slash Lakers. You're going to get up to 40% off all of this incredible Fanatics gear. Laker fans, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.